quarterback, you're not just talking to your team. You've got to demonstrate to them what they need to do to win. He's got to be the leader by how he plays. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. And Charles, for this defense, you know, they're a confident bunch. Some may say maybe too confident at times. How do you think that they approach a game like this when they're taking on a team that's lost four straight? Well, if they're anything like their head coach, you know they're relying on that confidence. You and I both were sort of surprised at his weekly press conference when he was asked about this being a trap game. It's almost boasting that he didn't see anything to worry about. That surprised both of us in a big way because we know that could be a dangerous tactic because I can guarantee you the guys on the other side, they heard that, and they're looking for anything to galvanize them. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. That's taken on the 25. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, nine on the return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And out will come the leader of this offense. And that, of course, is their signal caller. And I thought in last week's game, he found a way to win like a good pitcher without his best stuff. I mean, he did throw two interceptions. Yeah. Offset by one touchdown pass. Not the ratio, not the numbers you're really looking for as a QB. But finding a way to win, that's all that really matters. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And the 49ers are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. And he's just got to be thinking, I hope that's not a harbinger of things to come. Very first pass of the afternoon picked. And where do you go from here? Because when you start that way, do you allow that to seep into you and stay with you the rest of the game? Or do you find a way out of it? We're going to find out. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. In the midst of, well, let's just say a not-so-rosy losing streak. They've got the open week, though, coming up next weekend, so you have to figure this to be a game that they dearly love to have. Oh, indeed. They have to have this one because that's something positive to take with you when you go away for a few days, and it actually releases your mind. If they lose this one, that mind stays cluttered the entire time they're away. And they've got to scramble to get back in sync when they start playing again. On second down, it's Rhodes. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. They'll set up to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Rhodes. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And he'll need to find a way to shrug off the opening drive, if you can even call it a drive. One play and an interception, so he's got to forget that. I know that in today's football, we have a good number of coaches who don't look at time of possession the way that the old school guys did. But there's still a place for it. I think that on this drive, after having thrown that interception, they're going to want to eat up a little bit more clock and run some offense and give their defense a little bit of a break. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. On second down now. 
It's Taylor. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. First, he might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He'll buy some time right. That's going to be caught by Moss. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals have taken the early lead. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And the Cardinals will go up 7 to nothing. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taking it about the 1. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time. While they're playing this one, they got to take care of business first. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. Well, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far, offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And possession will switch hands first and 10. So here are the Cardinals to take over. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and 10. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. Five. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up... And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. A great effort there. With his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 14 to nothing. Just a four-play drive that time, and the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. 
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement down on the scoreboard. Maybe time to turn to this guy. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. And he is into the end zone. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half. And now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen those 21 to nothing leads come and go in this league. But this one feels pretty darn secure. And here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it, in order to try to mount a comeback. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. In second quarter, they're down big already. He's struggling as well. They've got to find something here. He's got to find something on this drive. And sometimes you take on all that extra pressure on yourself, and maybe you have to disperse it a little bit. Lean on some other people, lean on your teammates, find someone who can take the pressure off and get the ball in their hands for a while. Well, this, if he doesn't, this is getting out of hand. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off at about the 31, and he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half, I mean, that just didn't happen. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds. That's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Looked that one in and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there, and you want to give him a little extra for the effort. But instead, he sets his guys up in excellent shape for first and goal. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown. But I guess he's got to wait to try to pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right, not to be. And he is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. I know they didn't get it, but I kind of like the call. Second and inches go right to the quarterback sneak. Normally, that should be executed better, shouldn't it? I, I'm going to disagree with you. I don't like the call. You don't, you don't like that? That's just because they didn't get it, though. Oh, hindsight, okay. Hindsight's 2020. 2020 and never defeated. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. And he's not going to get there. They tackle him at the two. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And his 49er defense stands tall down near the goal line.
They'll run on first down. Betts. And he's able to get him a small cushion before being taken down at the five, a gain of three. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On second down, Betts. And he'll be taken down for a loss back at the three. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On third down, Rhodes. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Now the Cards going to call another timeout their second as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in the first half. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he's able to get it out of there. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. Six yard return after a punt of 48. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with great starting field position and one timeout in their pocket, they could still come away with points here in the late going. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. This will be swung out wide for Taylor. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. And the route is on. It's 24 to nothing. So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker, too, as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, definitely not looking like he's going to have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his board, and he knocked that much through. So they hit the ball before it went 10 yards. I know that's tough, but you got to stay disciplined. It is difficult because you're so eager to go get the football. It's that type of a play, but you're exactly right. Have to have the discipline to let it go 10 first. So we've come to halftime. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're going to get right back to it. The Cards with a lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. And the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead, before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. Here's a second and two now from the 33. He'll drop to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise. Because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it, it's not just West Coast offense either. There, because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got a rifle one deep left side. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. And he'll bring it all the way back 
back just a yard or two shy of midfield. But pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive? I think they just crossed it on that one. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. I don't care if you're taking it in round one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. Lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is, will he be able to bounce back in the next one? Because right now, this has not been his game. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there is just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. And this will be taken at the 13. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Six toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation, that's what's gonna make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Throw left side complete, that's Owens. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. They'll run for it with Dillon. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. We're all still valiantly searching for the so-called book, right, that tells us what to do in every situation. Everyone kind of knows what it says, but it's never really been written down anywhere. He violated every code on that one, didn't he? <laughs> Decided to go for it right there. Oh, yeah, your side of the field, this stage of the game, you're supposed to punt the football. He said, who cares? I'm going to light the book on fire. Yeah, analytics, everyone else, be warned, he's coming for you. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. See about the call. So we'll get the penalty all sorted out when we get back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Play action. They'll throw. He finds his man complete. It's Owens. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. I'll tell you what, Martin, the way he's been slinging it in this one, 
I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. Down to the 25. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, and oh, it'll be intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And the Niners are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, that interception at least offers them a glimmer of hope here in the fourth quarter. Well, it certainly does if their offense goes out now and makes it pay off by getting into the end zone. And if it does, then they get a chance to get back out on the field and try and do it again. Maybe they can force that offense into more and more mistakes and give them a chance to get back into this one totally. Yeah, still a three-score hill to climb. We'll see if they can do it. Second and four. Brickhitter here, it's complete. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They're going to look to throw. Fighting to stay upright. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Again, he'll drop to throw. Going up top. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A big connection on that one. 31 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Back to throw again. Over the middle complete. That's Rhodes. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And just a yard to go here on second down. They'll look to throw again. Looking sideline incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. He finds his man complete. It's Rhodes. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's got his man, Gates. And the 49ers are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. This likely a must-have, third and goal. They'll drop the throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points will be a letdown. I'm going for it here. They go for it on fourth and goal, but then lines up incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this shutout is going to continue as the defense holds again. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And this is going to be 49er football. And that one quickly went from a big play for the offense, I thought he may go the distance, to a big play for the defense. And how about the emotions for the defense on that play? It broke big. It was going to be an absolute disaster for them. And it turns out they end up with the football. I don't know that they're exactly celebrating. Definitely plenty of relief, though. He'll look to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And nothing but daylight ahead. 
He's at the 40. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the offense is going to get the ball back. After all that, heck, it'll be a first down. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Now back to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Rhodes. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Looking to throw. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. So it's a win.